Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. We have a update that I'm really excited about, and it may be one of those ones where uh, I'm more excited than everybody else, which seems to be kind of what happens all the time. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so let's go into it. So the first thing that is uh, changed that I'm very, very happy about because it's something that we've had complaints about for years. So our install process has a uh, a lot of new additions that make things a lot easier. So I'm going to show that to you. And then I'm going to tell you about the new additions to the uh, Windows Store app, which I think bring a lot of really needed functionality. All right, so in the install process, you can see we have standard and custom, standard, agree, next. And now what's going to happen is this is going to uh, bring you to the store page to install the programs directly. It removes a whole bunch of different steps. There's no more searching. I'm going to click Next. And what you're going to see is this here is going to open up the store to install the Tablet Pro Manager. Install right here. And then over here, this one is going to install the Pen Tool. And then this is brand new in this version. Launch the Pen Tool after installation. Uh, keep that checked if it's not installed and running already. And right here, we can click close, and you'll see that it put the pen tool right down here, and you can check for your license right there. In order to purchase, you're gonna go into the Windows Start menu, click on Tablet Pro Manager, and then the option to purchase is right here, and I'm gonna give you the different options here. We've discounted the full package to make it easier to choose that one so that you just have everything, and it's an easy decision. If you do that, just want to say thank you from my family to yours and from Takashi's family to yours. It makes a big difference to us when you support us in this way. Thank you. Okay, so now this is going to be up here in the hidden task tray. So for ease of use, drag it down. And we have um, the welcome guide. If you haven't seen the welcome guide yet, it looks like this. Welcome to the pen tool. Double click these presets. Uh, move the icon from the task, hidden task tray down to the task bar. Lock auto switching right here. Install Tablet Pro if you don't have it installed. And the Tablet Pro presets folder is now in the pen tool. So there's a whole lot of stuff that's, that's being adjusted. And thank you for your patience with that. It shouldn't change anything that's already working. But for uh, new people, this is going to be a whole lot easier and a lot of the stuff of uh, this is new territory for uh for me so <laughs> trying to make things better and uh, unfortunately means some shifting of different things okay so preset folder is now in the pen tool which means for organization's sake save and then copy your files into the pen tool and that'll add some functionality okay so here uh, stylus buttons, you can choose to switch to a different stylus here or in the same location before. Tap to unlock. We now have the ability to work with advanced modifiers and mouse clicks with the pen. So this is really cool. It means that you can do navigation in Maya and Blender and do uh, like alt control shift middle click if you want. Uh, or up to that or right click and so you have those options there okay so pen tool opens up and you can double click here and it will load all the different options here there's the slim mode uh, of the artist pad which is really cool i think a lot of people will like this because it's smaller it's slimmer it lets you do uh, a lot of things with less space on the screen it's sexy so that's a new addition if you haven't watched the last update video. All right, so over here, this is the rate icon. And if you guys like Tablet Pro, this is the easiest way to show appreciation. It's free. And uh, we have a whole bunch of bad one-star ratings from people who had a hard time figuring out different settings. That is what I'm trying to do a much better job of, remove a lot of those questions. Uh, everything has a tool tip. Uh, now with explanations on, on what they do, uh, including in settings. So all of these have tooltips. 
So you can go through here and see what all of these do. Some have been reworded to make them easier to understand. And uh, right here, this is the path for the preset folder. And you can choose recommended if you're having any trouble getting here. It should be the My Presets folder. Uh, so in the past, we had a presets folder. There is now a default presets and my presets. So if you copy over something and you wish that you hadn't copied over it, you can choose update all presets. This will copy, this will replace the default presets back into the my presets folder. I hope that's clear. So, and it shouldn't, it shouldn't copy over any of your uh, personally ones. If it has a different name of the file or you've modified it, it shouldn't copy over it. However, in the beginning, make a copy, back it up, put it somewhere else, and then do this process if you want to update those presets. Uh, be smart about it so you don't have anything copied over. Uh, this is still new. So it's supposed to work, but everyone's computer seems to be slightly different in some way. And occasionally is surprising. All right, so those changes here in the pen tool, the install process, those are all really great. Very happy about uh, what we're doing. Okay, so then... Uh, yeah, what I was saying is please, please rate us up in the App Store, please. All right, so what else is new? The layout editor got an update with some really cool new button functions. So here, we're, let's go to Excel and to the Slim Artist Pad, and let's change this Windows button. And we're going to change it here. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, and there are some icons here or mute, decrease volume, increase volume, play, pause, stop, track forward, track back, and brightness down, brightness up. I'm really happy about this because I've, I've been adding these in through um, VK codes, which is this, uh, some extra work, which I am glad that this is simplified now. So you can select here and, and start and stop uh, YouTube videos or tutorials or something with a button here on the artist pad, and it's a lot simpler now. There's a lot of cool changes coming that should make uh, adjusting the way that the artist pads look uh, a bit simpler. All right, you guys, that's it for this update. Uh, again, if you guys like uh, what we're doing, if you find value in it and you don't like it yet, but you want it to be better, then please uh, subscribe to this channel and rate us up in the Microsoft App Store. If you have a feature request, please put that in the comment section. I would love to hear your ideas and what you think would make Tablet Pro better. Uh, we also are really wanting to start promoting Tablet Pro now that this has gotten easier uh, for people to understand what things do and easier to start using. So if you'd like to promote us or share us uh, on social media, uh, we would love that. Uh, I'd be happy to hear also about where you're posting. So put that in the comment section as well. All right, guys, until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.